completed, I want you to get to your little Gmail button so you can get to your Sheets button. And on Sheets, we are going to create a blank sheet. When that sheets sheet launches, I want you to call it Fun Chart and put your name after it. All right, I would like you to skip one cell, and I'd like you to put name, and then you can put goals and assist. You can put songs and albums. I don't care what two things you put out here, but you do need two things that you can have numbers. And then below the name, I want you to put five people that would fit that. They can be real or they can be fake. I don't really care, but get five of them. And then fill in these numbers with numbers less than 30, uh, just because that makes our data work better. The numbers do not matter. I just want them to all be different. When you've got that done, because it's how we work, let's make sure we follow our normal steps where we make these bold. So we're learning the bold. And then I'd also like them centered. So find the horizontal align. Let's shade that in so it looks a little fancier. Make sure you always use one of the lighter colors. Don't use the dark ones because it's harder to read. And now we've got a nifty piece of data, but we um, need totals by person, and we need totals uh, by the group. Totals are pretty cool. You just click the box below. You find the formula functions, and a total is another word for a sum. When you do the sum, it says where, and you grab the part you want to add. So we want to add from B3 all the way to B7 and press enter and then we want to add these as well so we're going to use the cool autofill to just drag that to the right we're going to make those more visible by making them larger and more bold and then we're also going to shade in those boxes as well and last but not least let's center them alright let's do one more formula first let's write total here and then let's write average on this line. Let's make those bold. And let's move those to the right. That way they're closer to the cells where their numbers are. Watch quickly as, as I do the average for you. We click this button. We choose average. It once again says where. And we grab the cells that we want. So B3 to B7. Make sure you don't grab B8, because that would be the number for the total, which would be silly. So our average goals on my silly numbers were 12.4. Don't forget the paint format tool. We can simply click that and copy the format down below, so now they look the same. And then grab this autofill and drag it across in your formats. So in my little fun, playful uh, sheet that I made, they average 14.2 assist and 12.4 goals in my group. Yours can have different numbers. Just remember we want to keep them below 30 for the next part of this project. At this point, I want you to go up to the 1. Right-click right on the 1 and insert 1 above. Select by going in the middle. Notice I'm not clicking. I'm in the middle of A. I'm clicking and holding. That way I selected those three. I'm clicking the merge cells. And then in the box, put in the title for your chart. Now I'm going to be funny and pretend that mine was hockey, even though I had soccer type stuff listed there. Uh, you can put whatever you want. It does not matter. Just fill it in. Make it big. Make it bold. Make it centered. Okay, remember today's lesson was about making a chart. Here is where we do it. Practicing selecting again. This time we grab from name. Notice I did not let go. And we stop at the bottom of the assist. Do not grab the totals and the average. Scooch on out and find the chart button. Hit insert. And notice it automatically figured out that we were tracking goals and assist. It picked smart numbers, it put our names underneath, and it showed goals in uh, blue and assist in red. This is the smartest kind of chart for this. You could fiddle around and pick, 
but I don't want you to. I want us to stay back with the recommendations of goals and assist. And hit insert. It plops it right in the way, and I'd like you to promptly move it to the right. And then I'd like you to click on one color bar and change it to something you think is cooler. And click on the other uh, bar and change it to something you think is cooler as well. So you can just experiment with how you can adjust your chart to make it say what you want. Of course, with me, I like my blue and silver, so there you go. When you get your page looking like that, have your neighbor take a peek at it, and then I'd like you to both, if it's approvable, give me a quick look and give me a thumbs up so I know that you're done, and you can go to work on your module lessons.